Okay. The meeting of the Planning Commission will now come to order. Please rise and follow Commissioner Fermetta and the Pledge of Allegiance. Will the secretary please call roll? Commissioner Owens is absent. Commissioner Frometa? Present. Commissioner Spathopoulos? Present. Vice Chair Duarte? Present. And Chair Dominguez is absent. <clears throat> Will those in the audience please read the cover page of the agenda as it outlines the procedures which the commission will follow. This is a time set aside for oral communications for the planning commission. Does any commissioner wish to express announcement or report on a conference or a meeting or request items for a future agenda. Commissioner Spatos? None. Commissioner Fermenta? None. And I have none. Is the Director of the Community Development aware of any presentations for tonight? No presentations tonight, Vice Chair. Okay. Does the Director of Community Development have any changes to the agenda? No changes to the agenda tonight, Vice Chair. Does the Director of Community Development have a report on City Council actions? Yes, Vice Chair. At the last City Council meeting, our City Planner, uh, Crystal Landavazo, provided a, a report on the zoning code as it relates to window signage uh, for commercial establishments in our city. Uh, the Council took that and received and filed it and didn't take any action. That concludes my report. Okay. Now is the time set aside for public hearings. The public hearing for case number PLN dash 19 dash 00131 uh, is now open does the, does the secretary have proof of publication yes we do will the director of community development introduce staff making the presentation thank you vice chair tonight we have with us our assistant planner madeline welch to provide the presentation Good evening, Chair, or Vice Chair Doherty and members of the Planning Commission. Tonight you're being asked to consider a special event proposal. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. Tonight you're being asked to consider a special event proposal at Our Lady of Perpetual Help School. This is an annual carnival that is held every year at this location um, at 10441 Downey Avenue. The event is to take place from October 11th to the 13th, which is Friday through Sunday. Um, and the subject site is located on the west side of Downey Avenue and 7th Street. The site is zoned R3 for multifamily residential and the surrounding uses include um, R3 and R1 for residential. The campus is comprised of school buildings, sports fields, and parking lots. Um, the event is to take place in the large parking lot to the west of the campus, right here, as it is held in previous years. Um, and then the parking that is intended for the event will be in the other two parking lots on the site, as well as the church's parking lot down south on Downey Avenue, and then also across the street at St. Mark's. The applicant is anticipating one to 2,000 attendees um, each day of the event and the munis municipal code states that special events involving over 500 people shall require approval of the Planning Commission. Here's the uh, site plan for the special event. This is the same as previous years um, with the same um, events such as food booths, a beer garden, um, raffle ticket, raffle booths, and rides. The item was presented to the Development Review Committee on September 5th and standard conditions of approval were applied. The requested event meets the requirements per Downey Municipal Code and Zoning Code and the applicant is not requesting any deviation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Does the Planning Commission have any questions of staff? Uh, Commissioner Fermenta? I have none. Commissioner Spatos? No questions, thank you. And I have none. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Before I call the applicant, uh, 
and or his or her representative, this would be a time for any planning commissioner to disclose any pre-hearing site visits or pre-hearing discussions the commissioners may have had about the project. Commissioner Spatos? None. Commissioner Fermenta? None. And I have none. Okay, will the applicant uh, or his and her representative please come forward to give testimony? Just give your uh, name and address, sir. Good evening. Thank you for having me. My name is Michael Bolliger, Downey resident, uh, 10042 Sideview Drive. And I also have a son in the fourth grade at Our Lady of Perpetual Hub. All right, thank you. What do you want to tell us about your, the... Uh, I'm just here to answer any questions that you may have. I'm glad to hear that there aren't any, but um, we're welcome to any site visits. Um, it's a true community event. Um, welcome to any and all residents of Downey. Um, it is hosted by the church at the school and um, we'd love to have whoever is desirous of attending the event. Okay. Uh, any any uh, questions from uh, Commissioner Fermenta? I don't have any questions. I know that this is a annual event. I've seen it, I've been there before. It's a very large and well attended event. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, my son has been to the uh, people at the school since TK, so it was going to my fifth year, um, fourth year at the school. Um, I've been part of the electrical crew and now, so uh, been asked to move up to slowly take over the event. So that's the reason for my presence tonight. Um, I can tell you it's it's a it's a well-run event. Um, if I'm going to be a part of I, me personally, I'm a retired sergeant from the Inglewood Police Department. Um, uh, Carl Charles was in my squad in the academy um, at uh, the Sheriff's Department and um, we run a tight ship and you won't have any issues. Commissioner Spatos, do you have any? No, I've also, it's been a couple of years since I've been there, but yeah, great event. Uh, been attended several times from me and my family. Question for you that sure. I saw here. <clears throat> Are you doing a parking area in front next to the school and then the carnival ride in the back that's highlighted in green? No, there'll be, um, there's only one parking lot on, well, there's one parking lot on the- um, Downey Avenue side? Yeah, on the Downey Avenue side. Actually, there's two. There's one on each end of the school and then we'll be uh, utilizing St. Mark's and then the Episcopal Church, I believe, uh, farther down towards um, Our Lady Perpetual Church itself. Yes. Is there an entrance open from Downey Avenue that people actually go in yes, to the back of the, the and vehicles go in the same entrance? No, I'm assuming next to it, obviously. But that that parking lot is rather small; it gets filled up rather quickly. But there's 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 no interactions of people and vehicles using the same entrance. Gotcha. Okay. Is that new? Because I don't remember it like that. No. Maybe within the last couple of years, four or five years. If um. Well, it hasn't changed, but it the you know if, as you come in off of Downey Avenue, before you get to the pedestrian entrance is the you have to the parking lot parking lot. Okay. So there's a, a a good delineation between the two. Okay. That's all. Yeah, great. Thank you very much for your presentation. You're welcome. Thank you. Has there been any correspondence in favor or opposition? No correspondence. Okay. Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor or opposition of the application? Okay, seeing none. Um, does the planning staff have a recommendation? Yes, staff recommends that planning commission adopt resolution 19-0136, approving a special event permit for Our Lady of Perpetual Help annual carnival, PLN-19-00131. Okay. The hearing on PLN-19-00131 is now closed. Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion by the commission? I have no questions. Okay. No, no questions. Yeah, I, I don't see this either. I know that uh, I, I've been to the event. Uh, just like the applicant stated, it's run very tight ship. Uh, I think it's a great family event. Um, so with that, uh, may I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Okay. It has been moved and seconded. Um, can we have a call for vote? Vote is now open. And the motion passes with Vice Chair Duarte, Commissioner Spathopoulos, 
and Commissioner Fermetta voting in favor with Chair Dominguez and Commissioner Owens absent. Okay, the action of the Planning Commission will be final unless the matter is appealed to City Council with the appropriate fee within the specified time period as set forth in the City Ordinance. Thank you, sir. Now, moving on. Okay, um, now the time is set aside for the public hearing on line item PLN-18-0047. Um, it's now open. Does the secretary have proof of publication? Yes, we do. Does, will the director of community development introduce staff making the presentation? Thank you, Vice Chair. Uh, once again, we have with us Madeline Welch, our assistant planner. Good evening again. Um, tonight you're being asked to consider a planned sign program for the Apollo Center, which is located at 10317 through 1. Um, the property is located on the west side of Lakewood Boulevard, south of Florence Avenue. There's a total of two access points to this property, both from Lakewood Boulevard, and the surrounding uses include a commercial center to the north as well as the south, uh, residential to the east across Lakewood Boulevard, and then residential to the west. The site is zoned C1 for neighborhood commercial, and it is currently developed with a 15-tenant commercial building, a single freestanding tenant um, that's currently vacant, and a two-tenant building which is occupied by the post office, and a, it's currently a yoga studio. The code states that a planned sign program shall be required for any site having three or more non-residential tenants. So the applicant is requesting the sign program to enhance the overall appearance of the center and to add monument sign to the property here um, to um, enhance the existing pylon sign and to add wall signs to each tenant space and hanging signs under the walkway on this building. So this building will have one channel letter and one hanging sign per tenant space. Um, the post office and yoga studio building uh, will have one channel letter wall sign here for the yoga studio. For the purpose of the sign program, the um, post office is not included in the sign program. And then the vac currently vacant building will have one primary channel letter wall sign facing Lakewood and then a secondary wall sign facing the parking lot. So here is examples of the wall sign. The design standards is 1.5 square feet per lineal feet of leasehold frontage with a maximum height of 36 inches. Um, all of wall signs will be dual illuminated with LED and the fonts and colors are subject to landlord approval. Here is an example of one of the current tenants, Crimson Coward, and this is um, one of like their proposal of what they would do um, following this um, sign program. And here is what the hanging signs would look like. Black lettering with white sign area, um, and they all would be 3.5 square feet with, again, just one per tenant space, non-illuminated. And then the pylon sign for the site currently um, looks like this. So the location wouldn't change, but the applicant is updating it with a new logo and um, room for some tenant names on there. It would be 20 feet in height, located four feet from the property line, and internally illuminated with LED. And again, it would, there would just be one. And lastly would be a proposed monument sign here, seven feet from the property line, and it would match the pylon sign. And that concludes my presentation. I am available for any questions. Thank you. Commissioner Fermenta, do you have any questions? Mr. Spatos? Just a question in regards to the post office. Mm -hmm. Why is it not included in the uh, new sign program? Um, well, the post office, it's a very long-term tenant because it's a federal, it's a United States post office, and so they don't intend on it leaving, and so um, the applicant is satisfied with the signage that it has. Um, but if a tenant were, if it were to be replaced, then the sign program would be revisited. 
Thank you. You know, I have a question on the monument sign. Mm -hmm. um, will all all tenants have room to put? Is there is it limited to a number of them, or is it everyone's welcome to put their little business on there? So it is limited to four per tenant, or sorry, the monument sign's four, and then the pylon sign is four, um, just because the sign restrict size restrictions of the sign. That's as many as they could fit. And that's uh, between the four, I guess, between whoever leases it out to you. Yeah, through the property owner. Mm -hmm. right. I have uh, no further questions. Okay. Before I call the applicant or his or her re representative, this would be the time for any planning commissioners to discuss any pre-hearing pre site visits or pre-hearing discussions the commissioners may have held about the project. Commissioner Spatos? Just site visits, I was actually there today, and it's uh, parking is getting a little difficult there, I know. <laughs> Other than that, sign program looks great. I mean, for Meta? No questions, right. no site visits. Yeah, and I have no disclosures, thank you. Will the applicant or his or her representative please come forward to give testimony? Please state your name and address, sir. Hello, thank you for having me. My name is Dean Goodhill, uh, 8942 Wonderland Park Avenue, Los Angeles, uh, 9046. I'm one of the owners, I'm one of four. What would you like to tell us about uh, this application? <clears throat> well, we're, we're, we're trying to take what I think was one of the least attractive centers of its kind in Downey and make it the most attractive center of its kind in Downey. And uh, this is the climax of a two-year effort uh, I want to compliment the Planning Commission. They've been very, very helpful. Uh, and, um, you know, we're trying to make it really nice, and I think we're succeeding. I hope you'll appreciate it, and I hope you'll enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Fermenta, do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions, but I, I do appreciate what you're doing. It Thank is you. you are making the shopping center look very attractive. Thank you. That's the goal. That's the goal. I'm. Uh, lifelong aviation aficionado and private pilot. I was the uh, president of the aeronautical club in my junior high. Uh, like I said, I'm a licensed pilot and I, uh, Downey it, it looms large from before Apollo, even to vault air. And, uh, and I'm very proud to say that the old placard on the sign, the one that is, is going to be going at their request to the Columbia Air and Space Museum. Very nice. Yeah, very. Because we were built to serve the needs of the engineers and technicians that flew us to the moon, which I consider to be the greatest achievement in the history of the world. So that's me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Commissioner Spados. Is that I like that you guys are you know your 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 Apollo sign is actually something that kind of. <clears throat> Well, resonates with the city of Downey. May I say with a great deal of pride uh, that I actually received official written permission from NASA to use the Apollo logo. Oh, oh wow. Fantastic. So the only thing they said, the only change they wanted is instead of saying Apollo NASA underneath, for it to say Apollo Center, which is what we wanted anyway. So, boom. Was that one of the reasons that originally it was named Apollo Center? Yes, that's exactly why it was named. It was named... Yeah to support the, you know. Matter of fact, our dry cleaner told us that back in the day, the biggest business they had was in starched white shirts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> well, very It's looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah the trees were just planted. Uh, right. The uh, golden rain trees drop their leaves when they're transplanted, but they'll be back in about 30 days, the, the uh, landscape contractor told me. And the uh, Palo Verde trees, we searched all over the state for them, and actually went down close to the Mexican border to find some really beautiful big ones. Wow. And those really are super heat tolerant and um, they're gorgeous, I think, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for the presentation and the history lesson. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Has there been any correspondence in favor or opposition? No correspondence. Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor or opposition of the application? Okay. Seeing none, does the planning staff have a recommendation? Yes, staff recommends planning commission adopt resolution 19-3107, approving plan sign program for the Apollo Center, permit PLN-18-00047. Okay. 
the hearing on PLN-18-0047 is now closed. Any discussion? No discussion. No discussion, Mr. No discussions, Mr. Spatos? No discussion, no comment. No comments, okay. Um, what is the pleasure of the Planning Commission? May I have a motion? Motion. Second. Okay, we have a first and a second. The vote is now open. The vote motion to approve is now open. It was moved by Commissioner Frameta, seconded by Commissioner Spathopoulos to approve the request for a plan sign program, PLN 18-0047, with commissioners in favor and Commissioner Owens and Chair Dominguez absent. Okay. The action of the Planning Commission will be final unless the matter is appealed to City Council with the appropriate fee within the specified time period as set, as set forth in the city ordinance. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Now is the time set aside for non-agenda public comment. Uh, would anybody like to speak and make on the non-agenda public comment? Seeing no one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, a uh, consent calendar. Uh, do we have, uh, oh, we do have one item in the consent calendar. Is there a motion in terms of the minutes for June 5th, 2019? Is there a motion to approve? Motion. Okay. Second. So we have a motion to approve and a second. The vote is now open. Please place your votes to approve the minutes from June 5th, 2019 of the consent calendar. Okay. It was moved by Commissioner Frameta, seconded by Commissioner Spathopoulos, to approve the minutes from June 5th, 2019 with Commissioner Owens absent and Chair Dominguez absent. All right, thank you. Moving along, um, do we have any new business or does any commissioner have any business to discuss? Commissioner None. Fermenta? None. Commissioner Spatos? None, thank you. And I have none? Okay, uh, does the Director of Community Development have any additional comments? Yes, thanks, Vice Chair. Just some uh, local happenings. Next Thursday is Havana Nights, so hopefully you'll be able to get out and enjoy that activity. Also, uh, we are talking about the Apollo Center and the, the history of space and its relation to the city of Downey. October 23rd will be the 10th anniversary of the Columbia Memorial Space Center. And um, just... And then also on October 9th, uh, the Measure S team uh, will host a community meeting at BJR, and that's to discuss all of the activity and progress that's surrounding uh, our Measure S projects in our community. Last but not least, the Public Works Department is going to host a Walk Downey uh, community meeting slash reception at Stay Gallery. And all of these activities are posted on the city's Facebook page and Instagram account, so please follow us on Facebook. And that concludes my comments. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I believe now we are adjourned.